Okay, in this episode we're going to review Gypsy Yo-Yo by Mark Mason's Magic or JB Magic. As the, I've always known him as Mark Mason's but it's, yes, yeah, <laughs> JB Magic Mark Mason. Okay, so not sure what to say. Uh, first of all, it comes with a homemade DVD. A half burn, so that probably means it's what, 10 minutes long? I, I can't remember, I've not watched it. Who cares watching these DVDs? I've got fed up of DVDs Certain ones you got to watch, but some of them are just Sans Minds products, six minutes long, and half of that was trailers for the other products. Okay, uh, Gypsy, I, have, I do know of the products quite well though. Okay, now this is the Gypsy Fred trick done with a yo yo. I'm, I'm gonna have to, in order to do it, yes. So, okay, a few things to know about this trick. It was released at Blackpool of uh, February of 2015. Now, you can do use it as a normal yo-yo. As you've just seen, you can do uh, a normal yo-yo uh, roll with it. But it doesn't have a hook on the end of it. You have to, in order to use it as a yo-yo, you're going to wrap it around your finger at least four times so that it doesn't fly off your hand. Okay? It's a little thing, but it means you're going to use up a little bit more string in order to do yo-yo tricks to begin with. But, you can use it as a yo-yo before and after the trick, providing you do that. I'm not going to give away how it works. If you've seen the trailer, you know that basically you would take this thread, cut it off, and then magically restore it. I could do that for you now, but it would cost me 30p and thread, and you're not worth it. So, <laughs> but it, I, I really don't have that much thread. Uh, I've not, I've got, it comes with this amount of thread, and it's set up at the moment to do the trick once, okay? The yo-yo is slightly gimmicked. I'm not going to show you how, um, but it will, it does the job for you. There's a reset time of about 30, oh, I'll probably say a minute, I'll probably maybe two minutes. It depends how, it depends where you keep this thread, as in you've got to get it, measure it, put it back in place. If you were sat in front of it, you could do it within 30 seconds. But if you're like me, you're going to have to get it out of the box, get the thread out, do it, and that's fine. But between 30 seconds and two minutes, okay, depending on how you've got it set up. But the, and the thread is probably, I'm not going to, ex I'm, I'm going to show you the thread, but that's it. It's a nice thick white thread, okay, and you can take your fingers and snap it, okay. Now, to be fair, I, I can snap it without any problems whatsoever. This is a, I'm not going to describe the thread, I'm not, you've got to buy the product in order to know what this is and where to get it from, because for me, that is, that's the information that's more valuable than this, okay? Great trick, I'm going to use this thread with it, but knowing about this <laughs> is worth the £30 that the thing costs. Um, I, think, I think it's £30, um, it was for me. So, and here you could do the, with the thread that comes with it, you can perform the trick, um, I'd say a good five, maybe five times, I think he says ten on the box, but I reckon about five times uh, you could do it without... Uh, you know, having to buy more, but it does show, it does tell you on the DVD where to buy it from. Um, although you do have to know in your town where that particular type of shop is, and what the thread is called, uh, and all that kind of stuff. But it, I am using a bit of grip. I can't. It's a tiny piece now. I don't want to break any more of it. But it's a, it takes a bit of a grip. You're just going to snag on it and pull it apart. And I know I've got a bit more strength than some people. I, I did a gig yesterday for a teacher, went to shake his hand, and his whole hand crunched as I went to shake it. It was like he was made of paper. It was like, I, I, did, I actually thought I hurt him because it's just handshake. I'm not Superman or anything, but he, there's certain people whose strength isn't so good. And if you know, if you're one of those people whose hand strength isn't fantastic, this may not be the version for you. You may need to use an even thinner type of thread. The thread that he's using is good, is visible from a stage, strong enough to hold the yo-yo, and the special something doesn't come out. This is the golden. If you're going to do a trick like Gypsy Balloon, Gypsy Balloon will be hugely impressed with this 
this drink, this, uh, the, the thread that came with Jitsi Balloon, I couldn't, I couldn't break it. Even me, I couldn't break it. This I can, okay? So, what do I give this book? Well, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's, it's quite honest in its description. It does say 30 second reset on here somewhere. Um, yeah, I, I, I've got to give it 97%, 97%. The only reason it loses 3% is because I've not got, I'd like lots more string, okay? I'd like tons of the stuff. But he does explain where it's from and it's not a special string. I just like more of it so I can save myself the trip to the shop. Uh, I suppose it does have some text on the yo-yo itself. So I'm guessing he sourced these yo-yos from somewhere and gimmicked them to work the, do the job. Um, but it does have text there. Um, so that might be a problem for some people. You cannot make this up yourself with a light-up yo-yo because I know certain people who have purchased light-up yo-yos hoping they could modify it for this. No, I I wouldn't even go there, to be honest. You're going to want to use this gimmick. It's just too much. For, it's worth buying it and just using this yo-yo. It's not worth modifying one. Yeah, but 97%. I do recommend it. Uh, released by David Lefitan. So I guess that's his idea and his technique on it. And yeah, good purchase. Check him out. Mark Mason's Magic.